Hey guys, how's it going? Pixelo here. Welcome back to another video today. I'm going to be coming with a tutorial video for you guys, and uh, I'm pretty sure this has been really requested. Maybe, I'm not too sure though. Um, but I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own texture pack today from the from scratch. It's really simple, honestly. Um, I have nothing in my desktop, so we're gonna everything. I'm just gonna um, we're gonna all the files. I'm gonna show in this video what you need. And yeah, let's just get started. So here we go. I have my empty desktop in here. Uh, as you can see, we're not. I have nothing. And first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need Minecraft. Obviously, I mean that's kind of obvious. Um, and you're also going to need to be able to locate the dot Minecraft folder. And I'll teach you guys how to do that. So to locate this dot Minecraft folder, which is the first step, you're going to go on your keyboard. This is for Windows as well. I don't know if it's gonna work for Mac. Maybe who knows? You're gonna press the Windows key plus R, and it's gonna open a little thing here called Run. Uh, in run, you're going to type percentage app data percentage. Type that in. It'll look something like this. Hit OK. And it's going to open it for a folder that looks like this, okay? It's simple, okay? Not No tricks, no nothing. Now, in this folder, locate another folder called .minecraft. Mine's right here. Uh, you should find it somewhere. It should be in here. Once you find this folder, I recommend pinning it like here, like I pinned the dot Minecraft here. Pin this folder. I think all you have to do is just drag it in here and quick access and it's going to pin the folder for you. It's that simple. It's really, really easy. And then once you open up this folder, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of things here that not even I understand. Um, but we're going to be looking for a folder called versions because this is what uh, we're going to be using to create our pack. So in the versions folder, open it up and find the version of Minecraft you want to make a pack for. So. In this case, we're making one for 1.8.9 because it's a PvP pack and that's like the universal PvP version folder thing, I guess. I don't know. But 1.8.9, this works for any version as well. Just don't make sure you just make sure you don't get any of these like ones that have pre next to it or Optifine. That's not going to work. You got to grab, uh, you got to find the one that just says the version, okay? Now, you're not going to find this um, version folder unless you've launched the game in this version already. So, obviously, I've played Minecraft 1.8.9 before. So that's why this folder is here. But if you don't see a folder, all you have to do is just launch the game. I'll launch it in, in just the version, just in 1.8.9, for example. And then close the game, reopen this folder, and it's gonna it should show up right here. Once you open up this folder, there's going to be two files in here. A 1.8.9.jar and a 1.8.9.json file. We're only going to be using the 1.8.9.jar file. So make sure you have like a, an extractor called a Win, like WinRAR or 7-zip. I'm pretty sure 7-zip is free. Um, so you can go download that if you don't have that already and also you need Java um, Java is really is really useful. So go download Java. It's free as well But here we go. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna right click this folder right click it And then you're going to find mine is in Portuguese, but uh, this says extract to 1.8.9 once you press this It's just gonna load up and it will create a brand new folder called 1.8.9 and that folder is going to have a lot of the things we're going to need so this folder is really important okay so here we go our folder just finished um processing loading whatever so go ahead open this up in this folder you're going to want to find three files uh one called assets drag that onto the top this is the most important of uh, file you're going to find it here here we go assets we have that Okay, so to find the next file, I recommend using the search bar uh, that's going to be up here. Uh, most search bars are going to be like really small, so all you have to do is just drag it there. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to find a file called pack.png. Look that up, and it's going to pop up to this. So you, you, you can drag this into your desktop. We're also going to be needing this. And the last file is called pack.mcmeta. Now, I don't think you're... In most cases, you shouldn't be able to find this file in here. Uh, there is a chance you will find this file, so you can see I, I have not found the file in here. If you haven't found the file, that's fine. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is, uh, uh, come in your desktop here, right click, hit new, find, oh, find text document, and name this pack.txt. Okay, now, open up this new file you just created, the pack.txt. In here, you're going to, uh, in the description, you're going to find this, like, it's like a code. I, I, I don't really know. It's like a little line of code. It's, it's, uh, it's not that complicated after all, but copy that, paste it in here like this, and it will look something like this. And where it says here, your description here, 
right here you can delete this and you can type whatever you want in here this is what's going to pop up under your pack so i'm going to type uh subscribe that's fine subscribe hit save now close this up now click on this file hit f2 on your keyboard or just right click it and then hit rename that works too and uh what you're going to do is you're going to uh, rename this thing right here .txt to mc meta just just that hit enter it's going to say if you change a file name extension the file might become unusable if you should want to change it yeah say yes it will change the file into pack.mc meta this is what minecraft uses as like a, a pack description whatever but there you go you're gonna need this file if you cannot change uh whatever, whatever comes afterwards uh, just open up any folder go on view and make sure you find a thing that says file name extensions right here make sure this is checked on and then you're going to be able to see whatever comes after that so there we go so now you have your three files these are the three main files for any pack every pack has these three files the pack.png the mc meta and the assets folder so now this that you've done all the hardest steps now it's it's really simple actually so let's just let's just go okay so open up your assets folder open up minecraft go to textures in textures you can see there's a lot of folders and this is where all the textures for the blocks are so go in items i suggest starting with items that's what i start with you can start with literally anything uh, so i'll just go with items and in items you can see you're gonna find all the items for minecraft these are the basic textures in minecraft so you can always uh edit a pack as well that works i'll show you guys how to do that in a sec but after you've opened this up you can just uh edit all the textures you can use whatever program you want I use the one that's built in with Windows 10. It's called Paint Paint 3D. Um, to to open Paint 3D, all you have to do um, just right click on this. There's gonna be a thing that says Edit with Paint 3D. Once you open this up, it's going to open like a, a whole folder, uh, a whole new application, which is Paint 3D. And in here, you can actually edit uh, whatever item you want or block really easily. There you go. The texture opened up. You just zoom in and then you can edit uh i recommend using the pixel pen here because and then you can, you can change the pixel size i i put it to one because that's that's what minecraft works with so you can you can literally do whatever you want uh put the eraser to one as well i'll make like a short sword i guess you, you can just it's you can play around i mean it's just gonna be your pack so it doesn't really matter uh obviously you can use whatever application you want i recommend using this because i'm familiar with this and i find it's a really powerful editing tool so it's a good one and you can just do whatever you want um and also the good thing about this is you cannot go outside of its grid so so you can this is the exact size for the hot bar so you can actually see what it's gonna what the item will look like later you can't like paint out of it so it's good because that would probably cause errors maybe i don't know but yeah after you finish go on menu hit save and there you go it's gonna save your your brand new item right there uh, I'll change something else just so you guys see that this works. I'm gonna change the chest plate here. <laughs> I don't know. There you go. You can literally do anything. Uh, it has different opacity, uh, opacity as well. I don't know what you, what you call this, but opacity basically you just it will paint like a slightly uh, lighter tone, depending on whatever you chose. So yeah, um, just or just leave it at max. I'm just gonna make a red chest plate here because why not? There we go. We finished. It, it's it's simple. To change the color, you can just click on this big red big bar right here. It's gonna open like a whole thing of colors that you can choose from. Uh, it's literally infinite possibilities. You can also put uh, a hex code if you want. So if you have like a specific color you want, just type in whatever hex code you want there. Uh, so after you finish, menu, save, done. There we go. That's going to have saved. And this works for everything. Um, blocks as well this is um where the blocks will go this is how you edit your blocks and that works for everything as well paintings there's like a painting there we can change the paintings models you can change the armors what the armor look like look like misc this is like all the miscellaneous or miscellaneous stuff map as well you can change the map you'll figure it out the gui as well right here we're in the gui um um, I'll show you how to change like the hearts in your hotbar and stuff like that. So we open that that file called icons.png in GUI, and here this is what your heart looks like in Minecraft. So to edit that, you can just paint whatever you want on top of that, and it's it's gonna work. So 
I'll show you guys. I'll make like a green heart. I guess I don't. Know. Oh yeah, and make sure you do this one as well because this one is, is is gonna count when you're like at half a heart or when you lose half of a heart. This is what's gonna pop up. Yeah, the main purpose, the main reason why I'm doing this video is just to teach people how to make their own packs. Because I, I, I've seen a lot of people who really want to make a pack, but they just don't know how. And yeah, you can just watch this video. You can change the XP bars here as well. Um, the crosshair, this is the crosshair. The limit that the crosshair goes, I'm pretty sure it's like around here. This is how big the crosshair can go. I don't think it can, it can go any bigger than this. Maybe you can test it out. Um, but you can do literally anything you want in here and it's gonna work as your crosshair. I'll just do this. I guess it, this, this looks ridiculous and disgusting. Uh, also, if you're doing the crosshair, I'm, I recommend using the white. Um, don't use the color one. I don't think that would work. Uh, I wanted to, I'll test it out for you guys. I'll see what it looks like in game. But there you go. Options of background. This is what it's gonna look like when you're in like a menu. That's what this is. So if you want to change the background of a menu, you gotta change whatever you want this to be. Titles, that, that's self-explanatory, it's the titles of Minecraft. Achievements, containers, containers is what you're going to edit, your inventory for example. So here's your inventory, inventory.png, self-explanatory again. And yeah, <clears throat> once you open your inventory, this is what you're going to see. So you can literally do whatever you want here. Like that, for example, I don't, I don't know. Save, close, there you go. That is literally it. Uh... I wouldn't recommend messing. Um, I wouldn't recommend messing with these folders right here because um, this th these are actually important to the game. And uh, yeah, I just wouldn't recommend you messing with these. Just mess with the textures, but not these, because this will end up messing up your game a lot. Maybe even not making your pack work. So I wouldn't recommend messing with these. You can at your own risk, but you know, I'd stick to the textures. And yeah, now let's go to the last part of the pack, and it's the pack.png. So in the pack.png, you can literally put whatever picture you want. Uh, now, obviously, uh, the smaller the picture, the better it is going to be for Minecraft. If you put a way too detailed picture in there, it's not going to work. So after you're finished um, uh, with your files, and you want to test it out in-game, so you're not ready to send it to anyone yet, and you want to test it out in-game, create a brand new folder, just like that, name it whatever you want, pack. Thing, hog, sub, there we go. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm just coming up with things. Put that in there. Now make sure everything is in this folder. The assets pack, .mc, meta, and pack.png. Make sure those, those, all those three things are in here. Because this is really important. Open up now your pack folder. In .minecraft. Again, go to your .minecraft. Which you should have pinned here when I told you to pin it. If you didn't pin it, come on. I told you to pin it, guys. Come on. All right. Windows R, app data, okay, and it's going to open the folder and just find out Minecraft there, and there you go. Find resource packs, not texture packs. You may have a folder called texture packs. Don't do that. That is actually not going to work. Find resource packs right here, and then you can just drag this one in here. It doesn't have to be a zip file. It can be just a normal folder that works, especially if you're editing a pack. It, it's a really a pain in the butt <laughs> making a zip file and then having to go unzip it and then edit it and then it. You know, don't, don't. But yeah, make sure the folder in here only has the three things and nothing else. Um, because yeah, that's literally all your Minecraft needs or else it's not going to work. Now open up your game. Okay, so here we are in game. Uh, let's go open. Find find your pack in here. Um, if you have a lot of packs like me, generally it's going to be at the bottom. But it could be anywhere. Uh, you just have to find it in here. If you did it right, it should pop up in here. Right here. Here it is. Pack thing, pog sub, and I just subscribe. <laughs> and yeah, there is a picture. Uh, you can see I actually chose a really high resolution picture, so it's kind of pixelated. I bet you can't see it through the recording, but it's 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 sort of pixelated for me. Uh, I'll show you guys a bad example of this. So here's a picture I've used once. Uh, it's terrible. Uh, look at how pixelated that is. But anything works, like any picture that is a square will work. Uh, it doesn't have to be a perfect square. As you can see, this is absolutely not a perfect square, but it works out. 
Cause, uh, but yeah, just don't get like a landscape because that's probably not gonna look good. But here we go. Select your pack. And it should be done. It should work. And here we are in the world. Uh, as you can see, the crosshair did work. It, it actually did work. So you can do colored crosshairs. We can, like, there's nothing against it. I don't think it's illegal or anything. I did not mean to clear my inventory. Slash clear. Slash weather clear. There we go. But yeah, you can do color crosshairs. Look, it, I legit did it oh, right, right there. It looks really bad. This crosshair is so ugly. Jeez. But it works. Uh, you should see that your textures also do work. Here's the sword we made. Um, to see that it is different than an actual sword. Um, it's shorter. Uh, the chest plate as well, it's right here. Now, uh, if you did not edit the model of the armor, once you put a tech a chest plate on, or any piece of armor on, it's not gonna it's not gonna look like whatever the one in your hand looks like. You actually have to edit um um the one uh in your in the models folder for armor, you know that thing. You'll you'll find it eventually, but it's there in textures. So make sure you edit both of those if you're trying to make armor, because it's it's not gonna work as you can see right here. But yeah, that is the video. There isn't much else we can do. Um, I did change the hearts as well. Uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like now. Game mode zero. There you go. Now the hearts are green because we changed the hearts to green. So yeah, if you guys have any questions on the video that I probably forgot, which I, I'm fairly sure I forgot of something in the video. So if I did forget something and you have any questions, please make sure to write them down in the comments because I will read the comments and I'll answer your question. Um, if you if you're not comfortable um, talking in the comments uh, or in public, uh, that's that's no problem. All you have to do is just join my Discord server. Uh, it's in the description, and you can message me. Uh, I'll be answering questions through there as well because why not? I mean, yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching uh, the video once again, and yeah, um, like and subscribe because it's free, and I really appreciate it, and it really really helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.